I'm smiling already because I know what I'm about to show you. In my neighborhood, right across the street from our house, it's not the doggy in the window getting the attention, it's the horsey in the window. Walkers, joggers, even some drivers have slowed down to look. It's colorful, it's fun, and it's made with sticky notes. This was not an art project, it was a math project. By the way, two storms and even the rain tonight have not brought those sticky notes down. This could be permanent. By the way, good job, Morgan. And from Morgan, we go to Melody. She's 11 years old with a brilliant kindness poster, a rainbow made of encouraging words, a peace child expressing her fondest wish that the world could get along. One of those kid keepsakes that you parents will never throw away. Easter week, a month into COVID shutdown, Frances Tice took her cornet out onto the porch at 4 p.m. and played old time gospel. Her neighbors loved it. Frances made up her mind to do it again today, Memorial Day, again at 4 p.m. So out on the porch, she played an Italian piece for bugle called El Silencio and another classic gospel song. The 91 year old wanted to express her compassion for those lost on Memorial Day. And as the music drifted through the North Little Rock neighborhood, it became something else. While I was playing, I was thinking worldwide uh, who've lost their lives to this terrible disease. She sounds good. She should. She's been playing trumpet or cornet for 81 years.